In this video, we will look at connecting Jira planning tool with ServiceNow DevOps change velocity. So you could connect to your Jira server or Jira cloud instance to discover plans and enable real-time notifications for projects, issues and releases. When you connect and configure a Jira instance, all existing work items are imported through plans and a webhook is established to ensure updates are tracked real-time. You can then associate these planning objects to application for end-to-end -end traceability. For establishing this connection, the roles needed for this connection is SN DevOps Admin or SN DevOps Tool Owner. And the capability supported for this tool is Plan, as I mentioned earlier. And we also support Jira Server or Jira Cloud. The authorization methods which are supported for this tool connection are Basic Auth and API Key. Now let's look at connecting the tool on the ServiceNow window. Navigate to the DevOps Change workspace and select Connect Tool Widget. Go to the plan category and select Jira and here you have the option for Jira Server or Jira Cloud. Let's first look at Jira Server. Input the preferred tool name. This opens the playbook to complete the onboarding task. Here input the URL of the Jira Server instance and provide the username and the password. Then let's click on connect. So next, the permission checks are run on the credentials that you entered. Permissions required and permissions that are available are displayed here. If you want to re-enter the credentials with the right permissions, select the re-enter credentials and try again. So now let's click on connect. Next, specify the access for the tool. If you want to control access to the tool, add the groups that must be given access to the tool in the maintain by field. The users of this group could have roles such as DevOps Tool Owner or DevOps App Owner or DevOps Admin role or any other DevOps roles as documented. If you don't select a group and skip this step, all the users with the DevOps Tool Owner role will be able to edit the tool. And this option enables all users having the DevOps App Owner role to access the tool to associate, discover and import historical data of the tool's objects. For now, we shall skip this step and proceed. Next, register webhooks in Jira to send real-time data to ServiceNow instance. Also, all available projects are discovered from your Jira instance to configure the webhooks as needed. For example, in this demo, I am preferring to configure the webhooks manually later as the projects are not discovered at this stage. So I am proceeding further to configure the webhooks manually where we can use these details of the ServiceNow instance URL, the tool ID, the secret token and the webhook URLs. Using these details, we can configure the webhooks later. We can also prefer to automatically configure the webhooks from the tool record page. We will take a look at it. The tool is successfully created and we can take a look at the tool record. The overall status of this tool connection is connected successfully. The credentials are validated and we have the needed permissions for those credentials. The webhooks are not yet configured. We shall do that now. So these are all the various plans which has been discovered from the instance URL that we provided. And then use this configure option to configure with existing token. So as you notice here, the webhook is successfully configured. Next, say I want to import the historical data for this tool connection and for the project that we selected. It has to be done via the applications. So let's go to the application module. And this is the application which I have created earlier, App Service. And I have associated pipelines, plans, and repositories. As you notice here, we have various pipelines associated with this application from various tool chain like GitLab and GitHub. And for plans, we have various projects discovered and associated with this application coming from various tool chain like Jira server or cloud or GitHub issues. So for example, this is the project that I want to import the historical data. Select this project and then click on import data. So here you can specify the date range with a maximum of 90 days and a default of last one month. So this can be in any period with a maximum of 90 days and then click on import data. So this creates the import request and pulls all the historical data for the selected date range. So this brings in the historical data for the project that we have selected 
and that gets associated with the pipelines and the repositories. So whenever we make a commit and if you use this Jira work item in those commit messages in the standard format that gets linked with the commit and for that commit if any pipeline gets triggered in the respective orchestration tool that also gets tracked. So this gives us an end to end traceability of the work item commit and pipelines. Now let's also look at connecting to the Jira cloud instance. So in the DevOps workspace, click on connect tool widget and in the plan category, select Jira and then select Jira cloud platform and input the preferred tool name. So this opens the playbook to complete the onboarding task. Let's input the Jira cloud instance and its token. Then click on connect. Next, the permission checks are run on the credentials that you entered and then click on next. We shall skip this step and then proceed for now. Next, we can register webhooks in Jira to send real time data to ServiceNow instance. Also, all available projects are discovered from your Jira instance to configure the webhooks as needed. We could also choose the option to configure manually and uh, we can configure the webhooks for the selected projects from the respective tool record page. So for now we shall skip this and proceed. So with this, the tool is successfully created. Now let's get to the tool record page. So these are all the plans which has been discovered. So now let's look at associating the plans to an application and by which we can also import the historical data for those plans. So let's take a look at this plan where we already have some of the work items imported. So these are all some of the recent work items which has been imported. Let's take a look at this project in the Jira cloud instance. So this is the cloud instance demo project and here I have various uh, uh, Jira tickets created and these are all the latest Jira tickets which has been tracked in my ServiceNow instance. So I want these older historical data which is from February time frame. So now let's associate this plan to an application and then import the historical data. For which let's go to the application module. This is the application which I'm going to be using it for this demo. And as you notice we have pipelines, plans and repositories associated with this application. So in this case, I want to associate the plan from Jira cloud demo instance. So let's select associate plans and choose the tool. So these are the two plans from this tool record, which I discovered. I'm going to select this and associate this plan for this application. So the next step is to import the historical data. This by default one month is displayed here in the date range. We can choose a maximum of 90 days for any period. So let me select for the February time period and click on import data. So this creates the import request for the selected date range. This takes a while depending on the amount of data that needs to be imported. So now this import request is completed. So this has imported five work items. So these are all the older five work items which has been imported. Let's take a look at those imported work items for this plan. So as you notice here, so these are all the other work items which has been imported from that project. So now these work items can be linked with the commits which are coming from other tools and can be attached to the DevOps change. This gives the end-to-end -end traceability of work items, commits, pipelines and various other test results from the respective pipeline executions. So that's with the demo of Jira tool connection. For more details, please refer to the ServiceNow product documentation. 
and if you have any further queries post it on the service now community thank you